there's no time. Take this. Keep its information. The Ice Reach Coven at work. Don't trust them. Only Lyris. She's... You there. What did that fugitive tell you? Who are you? Another spy? What did this lying Easterner say to you? Assisting a fugitive is a crime in Hafingar Hold. Unless you want to find out how we deal with traitors and spies, tell me what he said to you. Lucky for you. If he had told you any seditious lies and you decided to keep them from us, you'd have been in real trouble. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Solitude doesn't take kindly to instigators or strangers. And what? Go on. Just remember, I'll be keeping an eye.
Aegis needs your help. Sea giants and vampires are everywhere. Returning to some. I may be not. Aegis needs your help. Sea giants and vampires are everywhere. and I'll stick you like a hawker. I don't know any Brondold. That is what I told the guards, and that is what I'm telling you. I don't want any more trouble. You may be dead. Stone's mercy. And I'm next, aren't I? I promise. He... He did not tell me a lot. Said he was tracking some bad people. Asked me to keep an eye out for any unusual comings and goings. He... The last time we spoke... It was about the men with the job postings. A pair of wolves in sheep's clothing. Trying 
They'd be wise to. The only time Reachmen and Nords meet is to kill each other. I always heard they were raiders and barbarians. No in who knows? Maybe they really do need laborers. A wild land full of wild folk, located south and west of here. It's changed hands between Reachmen and the Nords more times than I can count. But they control the territory now. See, you'd feel the same if you knew the tales of the fall of Markarth. What the Richmen do to folks they capture. Better to slice your own throat than let those barbarians take you alive. Flyers. They were hanging them at the inn around the city. Take Brondel's horse and run before someone less friendly comes to find me. Bron was going to take me back east after he finished here. I want to live where strangers are welcomed with a smile instead of a scowl. We are stuck between the despot of Markarth and the Scold King of the East. Both sniff around like wolves, waiting for a moment of weakness to strike. What? What is it? Vestige? You're a sight for sore eyes. Feels like it's been ages since, well, you know. He's what? Oh, damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Look, Her Highness is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you. We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this meeting goes. So follow? Lyris Titanborn. Your reputation is known even here in the West. Is this one of your famed companions? No, but I assure you my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself, partner. I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of our kingdom, our city, and our hold. The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svalgrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svalgrim to heed the words of the hated Joran, the Skald King. Reachman transgressions will not be enough for Svalgrim to accept outside help. He's a prideful man, and the bad blood between him and Joran runs deep. I Thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. I will do what I can, but be as discreet as possible. If you... My deepest apologies. Between the reach to our south and the Ebonheart Pack to the east, 
Our soldiers have come to see all outsiders as a potential threat. I you must convince my husband that a threat greater than Yorin exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. Find you handled that better than I expected. Now what in Mara's name happened to Brondold? Damn. Lucky thing he found you. Brondold was supposed to get the lay of the land before I got here. Without his information, my work for Euron the Skald King could be over before it begins. Hmm. Smugglers and Reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Brondold thought it could be connected to the Coven. I'm short a good investigator, and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count? Brondold mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in back alleys, and an orc named Mog who frequents the Lonely Troll Inn. Succinctly? No, but I'll try. The Ice Reach Coven recently attacked the Skald King. We learned they're planning something in Western Skyrim as well. I had a run-in with the Coven too. First at their stronghold in the Sea of Ghosts, then in East March. They tried to... well, let's say they had plans of an unkind nature regarding the Skald King. While it's true that Svargrim and Yorin don't get along, the Skald King doesn't want something terrible to befall Western Skyrim. That would be bad for the East as well as the West. We don't, but it's all we've got. Even if... Castle Dower is a monument to the Western spirit, stony and cheerless. Maybe the new tower will liven up the place. Audrey, is that you? Listen closely, you insufferable clod. I need you to find my notes and... Stuck in the bottle? No, no, no. This is a devious and very stubborn illusion. One that you now have the privilege of breaking. It's quite simple. I recorded the locations of three verses of a powerful incantation in my journal on the Octobre. My assistant, Borfrey, has my journal. Find it, read my notes, and acquire the incantation. Also tell him to come get me. Someone nearly took a swig of me. Indeed, I acquired a powerful scroll from the Mages Guild. Steal? We're adventurers, aren't we? What you call stealing, I call... Daring investigation. Why, with anyone other than you, of course. You really thought I'd... Greetings. Hey, 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 hey! Don't step on the dice! There a reason you're interrupting our game, hawk face? Don't know any bronze old. Don't know you. Either way, I got nothing to tell you. Get lost. I'm on a winning streak. My friend asks nicely, talk, or the next thing to roll will be your heads. Kasala, Kasala! She handles all the smuggling and solitude. She knows. Her warehouse is on the docks. That wasn't so hard. Come on, partner. We're done here.
Well, you must be Mog. I have questions. Questions? <laughs> Happy to oblige. Buy a few rounds and let's chat. You're going to answer me, Orc, or... Hey! Nobody intimidates my friends. Princess Vanna? Who gave you the right to walk in here and bully my friend? Because he doesn't like Mog. But I like Mog. Mog doesn't care that I'm a princess, and it doesn't matter to me that Mog's a scoundrel. Smelly bastards. Cheap, too. Wouldn't buy us a drink. They hung their flyers and left without saying a word. Then, a different smelly bastard showed up to sign on workers. <laughs> His breeches fit well. And he was handsome. Not a Nord. Breton, maybe. I didn't really listen to what he was saying. Let's talk outside, partner. So we've got a mysterious Breton possibly working with Reachmen, recruiting workers for some unknown purpose. Plus, there's a smuggler hiding unknown contraband in a warehouse down by the docks. We know where to find her, and we more or less know what she's up to. And if the two are connected, maybe the smuggler can help us narrow our search for the Breton. Let's try the processing. Get lost. Wait. A half giant? Is that blood and blade? Everyone knows Lyris Titanborn. What a woman. She's even larger than I imagined. No wonder she fought Swordmaster Sai Sahan to a draw. Wait. Until Kasala returns, I'd be happy to keep fair Lyris company in her stead. Alas, Kasala doesn't allow visitors when she isn't here to conduct business. But we can wait out here. Oh, thank you, thank you! You don't know how much this means to me. I don't know what you said to him, but this is our chance. Try the lock. See what's in those marked crates. I'll watch the door. Return. Grout muscle this time, I see. More than you. Care to try me? I'll pass. I just want to know who's been meddling in my business. I had a feeling it wasn't just an opportunistic thief trying to steal my cargo. What are you after? A plot against the High King? Involving plundered antiquities from Hammerfell? Preposterous. I'm simply facilitating a transaction between treasure hunters and a rich collector. So... Give me that! Tribal crafts my arse. I told that son of a skeever I don't deal in arcane goods. Especially ones from the Reach. Nothing but sorrow comes from such business. No name, just instructions and gold. Shipments come in, I make sure no one looks too closely and wait for a pickup. Never see his same face twice. What? They're taking the cargo to an abandoned lodge in the foothills north of Solitude. Occasionally used it myself when the city guard was being thorough. Want to catch them? Start there. The Breton was sly, handsome even. Thought he could charm me into taking on additional shipments. Now that I'm paid not to ask too many questions. 
this arrangement was a lucrative one. I trusted them, but it seems they took advantage of my natural greed. Ronveld had good instincts. We're definitely onto something. Our mystery buyer is hiring locals to haul these urns and reach fetishes out of the city. Hmm. The Coven was also perfecting some kind of ritual in Ice Reach. Something to do with storms. Good idea. Head there while I circle around from the other direction. Maybe I can give your sentry my best and tell him I owe him an autograph. Oh, he's gonna get more than an autograph if I see him again. Thank you.